the lazy way to earn $60,000 with just one product. This YouTube channel discusses various tutorials about Canva and helps you earn money with Canva so make sure you give thumbs up, comments, and subscribe to this channel because thumbs up, comments, and subscribe are free guys. Hello, yesterday I was trying to find a gift for my family and I found a variety of custom products that I found interesting. First we just type on the Etsy website with personalized keywords then you will find lots of products that can be your inspiration when selling on Etsy. You can make various products that are here and you make your sales inspiration and you just choose which one you like. The uniqueness of a product like this is that it can be grouped into evergreen products because as long as there are people who want to give gifts to loved ones, there will definitely be those who buy the products you sell. One more info I'm sure almost 99% of the products here are not sellers who made it himself but in collaboration with a print-on-demand company. So when they order a t-shirt or glass from the seller, the seller will assist the buyer in designing it to be like this. Then the finished design will be sent to the print-on-demand company and the company will ship the finished goods to your buyer's address. After you have an idea about print-on-demand products, the next question is what designs and products you should sell on Etsy. On Etsy there are a large selection of products that you can sell and to see what products or designs can generate big profits, the way is to do product research on Etsy. Actually there are many ways that you can use to research products on Etsy, you can research it directly by looking at the store that sells the product. For example, you can open one of these Etsy shops that have many reviews because if there are many reviews, it means that the product has many buyers and although usually not everyone leaves a review when buying a product. You also need to look at the date of the review because it can be an indicator of when the product is needed. Because there is a possibility besides birthdays there are also certain celebrations that can increase sales such as Christmas and Halloween but of course this really depends on the design you are selling. The second research method is easier because you can use tools for research, you can use your rank, ever be, or whatever tool you want because there are so many choices of tools that you can use and if I myself would use Elera.io. Just information for you, even though I mentioned several brands from certain companies but they did not endorse me and I only conveyed what I experienced. Okay let's just discuss how to survey products that have good potential for sale. After you open Alara.io then on the left there is a menu that contains a product seeker. The function of this menu is to search for products with certain criteria starting from sales until when the product starts to be sold and how much income he gets. I will try this first with the search criteria above 500 sales and 30 sales each month with the keyword personalized mug or or you can search with other keywords that have potential as well such as personalized shirts or thumblers. It will bring up a lot of products that you can use as inspiration and let's analyze which products are interesting and work with print on demand, we will not analyze handmade products because they require high skills. If we look together from this product alone, there are 16,000 people who favor this product, and if we look again there are almost $1,000 income from this product alone every month. And if we look together this product has been here for about 1,700 days and it can be interpreted that this product has been a best-selling product for almost 5 years. Then you open Printify or other print-on-demand websites, when you have Printify then click on the catalog section and just type in the keyword mug then the exact same product will appear on Etsy. This can be proof that 99% of the sellers on Etsy work with print-on-demand companies because if you are already running a business and have to manage marketing and production at the same time it will be very difficult to do and the risk is also greater. So the most reasonable solution is that you focus on marketing and you can hand over the glass production to a third party like Printify. It's very minimal risk and you can focus on marketing and making good designs, so actually this kind of business can be done by anyone as long as they have the will. Furthermore, we also research the products below because I think they are quite interesting to discuss. This product makes more money than the product above because the total revenue from this product reaches $60,000 with fewer sales of course the price will be more expensive for the buyer. This product gets a higher income, but this product has only been registered for about 3 years and has more revenue of course it is quite interesting to discuss. This product made 2000 bucks just for this month and of course that's quite a lot for a product. This product has around 12,000 people who like this product, 
so you can use this product as inspiration for the products you will sell in your store. If we look at Etsy this product is being discounted from $23 now to $19 and if we calculate based on estimates. The first product sold for $15 and was discounted to around $9, if you look at this product on Printify does it make sense with a production cost of around $14 then shipping $12. I don't know what the purpose of this shop is and how he does it because the production cost of shipping is higher than sales so it's possible he produces it himself until the cost is cheaper or he gets a cheaper supplier. But if the second product we are looking for in Printify with the keyword camping mug then this glass will appear and we can see together the production cost is only $9 and the shipping is $4 plus. So the profit he gets is between $5 to $8 each product and this product is sold with the engagement package which means he can sell two glasses in one package and of course this is very profitable because he only needs to pay one time shipping for these two products. You can even get a cheaper price if you subscribe to premium, you can get a 20% discount and this is of course a very big impact because the benefits you get will be even greater. But my advice if you are just starting then just use the free package because $25 for those of you who are just starting to open a business can burden your finances. After I checked again, it turns out that the product we are discussing does not provide free shipping to the buyer, so if you calculate it, it is possible that the profit can reach $10 for each product. Now we discuss how to make such a design, of course it is very easy because only with Canva you can create good designs and without the need to have design expertise. If you need Canva Pro, you can click on the description below, because we know for ourselves that you will have more convenience in designing with Canva Pro but if you want to use the free version of Canva, that's okay too. The first thing you have to do is click in the upper right corner of the Create a Design button and then select the canvas size you want or need. To find out the size we entered is correct then we just check on the Printify website what the size of their canvas is. You just click on the glass you want and at the bottom there is a Size Start Designing button that you can click and after you click it will look like this and you just have to design according to the description. You click create and select custom size then you enter the size or pixels listed earlier, which is 2400 pixels x 750 pixels, then a display like this will appear. Then in the upper left corner you can click file, and you click the show ruler button or use the shift plus or shortcut. After you activate the ruler on the left and top then you just need to draw a line according to the mockup that was in Printify with four areas in the design you made. Before proceeding with the design, I remind you to read the terms of the license agreement in Canva because this is very important to avoid problems in the future. Then you can only need to add various elements according to the design you made, I will add a mountain image first by clicking the elements menu, and then just type it with the mountain keyword then there are many options that you can use and I chose this element. Then you look for other elements that you think are suitable, if I will add a tent and you can just search with the keywords tent or camping. Then I also added some trees to make it look nice so it doesn't look arid, you just put the trees randomly to make it look more natural and the size is also random, you can place trees on the mountain like this too. Then you can add a picture of the moon and stars with and place it on the top of the mountain that you have chosen earlier. But I also found a cool moon image and its shape is very similar to the red cloud Akatsuki in the Naruto anime and you can just add it if you like it. Then you can get star images with the keyword clut of stars and you can combine each of these star images to make it look good. You can also combine various other elements to make it look good because there are so many images or other elements that you can combine.
Then you only need to add the name of the person who ordered your product, for example, I added the names Ariana and Andrew to be written on this image. You also adjust your font selection because the font is usually related to the taste of the designer. I use the Bellabu font in Canva and if the writing is too much spaced you can adjust it with the line spacing button at the top center, you can adjust the distance for each writing like this. Don't forget to also add a name to the right of our design like the example of the product on Etsy earlier, when there is an order then your job is only to change the name of the buyer who bought your product and the time it takes to do that may only be a few minutes. Then you just need to download the design that you made via the button in the right corner, and you can choose JPG or PNG. I will choose PNG, and you can choose this transparent background so that no white part is printed because the glass already has a color. We enter the design we have made into the print-on-demand website that you want, In this tutorial we just try Printify and the results in my opinion are good enough to sell from various sides but maybe you just need to adjust the size so that it fits better when printed later. If you like this video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons and leave a comment below this video to let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions please drop me a comment below this video to let me know what you would like to see next and what type of videos you want me to create for you, I will be able to respond back to you as soon as possible also be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.